What's up everyone, it's Lethal. I'm back with another video. You ever start up your computer and you know that you have a ton of stuff to run? Maybe you stream or maybe you game and you have background apps that you want to run that help improve your game or stream. Maybe it's just your game and Spotify. Well, I have a solution for you. I'm gonna just drag this in the middle because not only am I going to teach you how to open apps using a bat file or a .bat file, I'm actually going to show you how to close apps with a bat file if it works at all based on your computer setup and a better way to do it that works 100% of the time versus using a BAT file. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to create a bat file. All you got to do is go to new and text document. Well, all you do is name this, like I'm going to name this open files and then hit enter. Well, it's named open files dot txt the way that you change it to a bat file is you basically right click it and you go to rename and you go to the last three letters and you just replace it with bat simple as that hit enter it's going to give you this if you change your file name extension the file might become unusable are you sure you want to change it yes now what we're going to do because this bat file is still technically has text document parameters meaning if i go to show more options and i go to edit it's basically a notepad and you can type in commands blah 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 and when you right click on this file and run it as admin i'm gonna hit don't save if you right click this file and run it as admin it's going to execute whatever you have in this text document field so to make it simple i didn't come up with this method i really don't know much about it except for i looked at some youtube videos and learned it so here we are if you go to edit and you look at what I have here, I have start space forward slash D space. And then, you know, the file location with quotes, with quotations around it. And after the file location, a space, and then the name of the file dot exe. That's literally it. That's all I have for all these files. If you can find the file location and then the file name, then you can run these files. Now, one thing that really sucks is that if you have any spaces in the name, it's not going to run. I don't know why, but all these, as you can see, they have no spaces. There's a really quick way that you can get around this. If I go to any of these apps, like Process Lasso is something I already have here. I right click it, I right click on the icon again, go to properties, and I'm gonna bring this into the middle of the field. This is where it says start in. All you gotta do is highlight this entire thing, hit control C. As you can see right here, this is the exact same file path that I just copied. It's start space forward slash D space. And then where it says start in the file location, boom. And right after that, the name of the actual file is process lasso dot exe. So if you go to general, you can actually see details shortcut. All right. If you're having problems seeing the name of the file, all you gotta do is go to open file location and look process lasso launcher.exe and also process lasso.exe i'm not doing the launcher when i launch it i just actually directly launched this file so i'm launching process lasso.exe that's the name that i use when i go here at the end of this command line now you can simply copy and paste everything that i have here i'll actually have everything that i have here copied and pasted as a template and then all you have to do is fill in the file location and the actual file name now if you're having problems launching an app all you gotta do is right click it and you can literally go to rename you can rename the file rename it to something that has no spaces and actually after you save it and you put the name of the file with no spaces so that it works then you can launch it with the bat file so i hope that helped also make sure that you type exit just hit enter one time down one level and type exit so it's at symbol echo space off enter enter to go down two lines start space forward slash d space and then the file location with the quotes space and then the name of the application dot exe that's pretty much it at the end of it make sure you hit type exit on its own line but don't put any space between the lines hit enter once to go down one space 
that's where you type exit i hope this was helpful to you if uh, you have any questions or suggestions for future content let me know down in the comments section if you can't figure this out i will based on the comments make a new video and answer any questions or difficulties that you may have come across and before i end the video make sure that when you name this file make sure that you name it like i have zero three underscore open underscore application dot bat don't name anything crazy no special characters but i read somewhere that putting a number like zero three before the name of the file that you want like open application and this one it says close application heard that putting a number before it just helps it to actually run right and register but then i'm going to delete this i don't need that anymore all i do is right click and run as admin and all my files open sound capture raw excel you know intelligent standby list cleaner all that stuff that i need running so that's gonna be it for this video hope you have a great one we'll see you next time peace